Interpreting Daphne's character role in Scooby-Doo through the perspectives of Nietzsche, Jung, and Lakin could reveal different layers of meaning and symbolism. Nietzschean Perspective Nietzsche might view Daphne as embodying aspects of the Apollonian ideal the pursuit of beauty, order, and societal norms. Her conventional appearance and role as the damsel in distress could be seen as conforming to traditional standards of femininity and beauty. However, Nietzsche might also critique Daphne's character for lacking the Dionysian spirit the wild, instinctual, and chaotic aspect of human nature. He might challenge her to break free from societal constraints and embrace her inner desires and passions. Jungian Perspective From a Jungian perspective, Daphne's character could be analyzed in terms of archetypal motifs and symbols. She may represent the anima the feminine aspect of the male psyche which Fred and other male characters project their idealized notions of femininity onto. Alternatively, Daphne could embody the archetype of the damsel in distress, symbolizing vulnerability, innocence, and the need for rescue. Her repeated role as the target of villainous plots may reflect deeper collective anxieties and desires related to protection and salvation. Lacanian Perspective Lakin might interpret Daphne's character role through the lens of desire and lack. Her status as the object of desire for Fred and other male characters could be seen as a manifestation of the Lacanian concept of the other the symbolic realm of social norms and expectations. Daphne's recurring role as the damsel in distress could be analyzed in terms of the Lacanian gaze the objectifying gaze of the other that reduces her to a passive object of male desire. Lakin might challenge Daphne to assert her subjectivity and break free from the confines of patriarchal structures. Overall, interpreting Daphne's character role in Scooby-Doo through the perspectives of Nietzsche, Jung, and Lakin provides a nuanced understanding of the underlying psychological and cultural dynamics at play, revealing insights into gender roles, archetypal symbolism, and the complexities of human desire and identity.